Hi, welcome to Mark D. Maker. On this project, we're going to be making a wooden frame for a license plate from a car. So the wooden license plate is going to be kind of like a picture frame, except for we're not going to be using mitered corners. We're going to be using overlap joints, half lap. Half lap is a very strong joint. It should hold really well. Let me show you a little bit about how we're going to go about doing this. So, we're going to take the piece of wood that we have. Now, I just used a handsaw, just a regular handsaw, and cut this. You don't need fancy tools for this project. You could use, you could use a, what is that, a $5 coping saw. We got some bigger back saws too that would even do the job quicker. Or you could use this bad boy, old reliable. This is what I made my initial cuts with. So, what we're going to do to get this half lap joint is we're going to put a line the thickness of the frame. So this is going to be, let's say this is going to be the top. And this is going to be the part coming down but we don't want them to have this full thickness here. So what we're gonna do is cut this in half down to here and this in half down to here so they come together to make a nice even joint. You know, so it'll look like this. But they'll overlap each other. That's gonna give you a very strong gluing surface here, which is important. So this is going to be on the car, kind of bouncing around, and so we want it to be nice and strong. So, after we get this first line here, <clears throat> you're going to come in here on the end and kind of eyeball it. Now, you want it to be pretty good, but it doesn't have to be perfect. You want to get it pretty close. So just try to get it pretty close. See how I'm locking my fingertips in here and just dragging the edge right there. That, that looks pretty good right there. So we're going to go all the way down, not changing the position of my hand. And I'm going to come down this side. And I want to come down to this line. Now I'm going to do the same trick again, hold that position, pull this line down, we'll connect that to that, that to that, and, and this part is the part we're going to remove. Half of that, this whole area. <clears throat> I'll show you how we're going to do it. So these are the dimensions. I got this at Home Depot. So what I'm doing here is I'm using this license plate frame as a template for the wooden one. So I can see that the, the bottom's a little big, but that's okay. We're going to try to leave some extra space so we can make letters as big as we want on the bottom. The top we're going to cut here so it'll fit onto the car. And in in the, uh, you know, the state will show in this space right here. So using that as a template, drew it out. I take these into place so I don't accidentally bump them or move them. I just used regular painter's tape, blue tape, and I took double, double stick tape, and we're going to put double stick tape where the half laps go, so we can line everything up, we're going to stick it together, and we'll peel this off and we'll stick these pieces right on where they belong.
Just to be clear, this double stick tape has backing on it. So one side sticky, you stick it down and then you peel the backing off. I know that they do sell some double stick tape in dispensers that you don't have to peel the thing off. So we'll just line these up on these lines, press them into place. I got this uh, double stick tape at Woodcraft and it's, uh, it's pretty strong. Okay, so the blue tape can come off. Now there's, I'm sure, a ton of different ways to do this, but this is the way I do it. And we can mark the pieces where we're gonna cut the half laps on those on the uh, vertical pieces and the lines are already in place for the horizontal rails there just reinforce those and ready to start cutting all right so I put this on the bandsaw and just did rough cuts you can see they're they're not exact, but we're going to be sanding the heck out of this thing anyway. So we're close and, and we're going to get ready to start to uh, really put this, make some shape and uh, cut the half laps. So remove the tape. You don't run tape ever through a blade. It'll mess it up, gum it up. These pieces will they'll be safe. I have the fence set up for the length. I'll make my first cut right up against the fence because the blades not going through it's okay to use the fence if this blade was coming through the wood you would not use a fence on a cross cut slab the combination could kick back but in this circumstance it's okay it came off the table saw I'm pleased with it now like I said you can do this with uh, different types of saws maybe even hand planes if you're good enough with a knife maybe even a knife I'm not, I don't know but <clears throat> it's a whole lot quicker on the table saw nibbling away like that but it does leave it a little rough so little trick here and I learned this from watching Adam Savage work a nail file nice and flat I just keep a bunch of them stored over here with my abrasives we're just gonna hit this real quick to kind of smooth it out a little bit because <clears throat> it left it a little bit on the rough side so we'll just smooth these out and uh, and glue them up. All right, so what I'm going to do now is take this over to the bandsaw. I'm going to cut up and cut this profile, but I'm going to leave these in place because I want that surface for glue. And this is where the holes for the bolts are going to go to hold the license plate on. Here I'm using the saw blade, the, the back of the teeth is a rasp. All right, <clears throat> so we got this piece cut off on the bandsaw. I left a little 
bit over here until after the glue up and I'll just go in with either a knife or scroll saw and clean that part out. All right, so what I've done here is I used the, the license plate frame again as a template, drilled holes. So I can untape this. I know my holes are accurate and they line up. And we will start gluing. I have a two-part epoxy glue here. <clears throat> I have a bamboo skewer. I kind of like to mix with the skewer and apply with the skewer. <clears throat> and by the way, you see I'm using this Barbershop Harmony Society as a template. I've been with these guys for seven years. This is a wonderful group. If, if you don't know what the Barbershop Harmony Society is today, not what it used to be, but if you don't know what it is today, I'll put a link in. It is worth checking it out. If you don't know what it is, at least check it out, look at it, see who they are. What a great group of people. If you like music, singing, you should check these guys out. All right, let's get the skewer ready. Equal parts of clear epoxy. This stuff, this epoxy, is about as strong as you can get glue. <clears throat> I used to use epoxy in repairing C-130 aircraft props. It'll hold metal leading edges onto props. It should hold my license plate together. I think what I'll do is I'll glue them all at the same time. It'll be a little bit of jockeying to get them lined up. But I got these clamps. I should be able to get them all on there. Now this is a five minute epoxy. <clears throat> and it is warm in the garage so it may set up pretty quickly here. We'll try to beat it. Now what I do always do is I leave the stick in the epoxy that's mixed here. <clears throat> that's my test. When I know that that's set and hard, I know that this will be. Welcome to my spray booth. So what I got here is I took some black and white photos and I backed my camera up to about a quarter of a page and, uh, and printed it out and it came out just about the right size. I have some patterns here for some gears. Uh, in the future I'll be making a wooden clock with all wood out of all wood 
Um, and that this is from a pattern book that that came out of. So I'll hit these, turn them over, hit them with the spray adhesive, put them on these boards and cut them out. I'm using the Super 77 spray to just give them a, a light mist. Okay, so they're all stuck to the board here and ready to go to the squirrel saw. I'll use a band saw just to cut off oh, right here real quick. Maybe separate these two. Um, but everything else I'm going to do on the squirrel saw. This detail right here. Um, my band saw blade is just too wide to get into that detail. A scroll saw would do a good job on that. sanded down all the little tools and the gears sanded and in place um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and paint them they it does look cool like this but I think I will paint them just so they stand out a little bit more okay a simple acrylic paints and we're all painted up ready to a little epoxy glue and we'll be set all right got everything all epoxied in glued up clamped um, and and everything is painted individually painted a light stain on the wood frame itself all right getting really close to the end here so what I got is uh, just some washers <clears throat> sanded uh, one side, the side that's going to be glued and facing down. And I'm just going to put washers front and back <clears throat> over these holes because this is the probably the weakest part. The grain uh, goes sideways here and, and that could probably snap. So by epoxy gluing washers on the back here on the front and back, uh, that'll give it some good strength. Well, there we go. That's what it looks like on the car. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>